YouTube, X Gang, what is good to you? What is good with your man? It's your boy Zay Exclusive, and I am back with another vlog. So, as you guys can see from today's title, my new wheel has finally arrived. About two videos ago, I actually scraped my front right wheel. I got curb rash on it, and um, I went and got some estimates done on how much it would be to repair, and it was a some some of the estimates were actually above the price of a new rim and then some other ones i got were just below so i just decided to go ahead and order a new wheel have it in my trunk right now so that's what today's vlog is going to be we are currently on our way to the gas station because i need to fill tara up she's currently like literally riding on e let me show you guys like has no gas so we are about to be pulling up to the gas station now I'm about to fill her up real quick and then we are going to head over to dun tire our trusted dun tire only place that i really let work on my car so guys the local price of gas has been rising lately why i don't know but gas is going down it was in the threes now it's back in the fours which really sucks but stay tuned Guys, if you're thinking about buying an Elantra in, I definitely say do it. That's how much it costs to fill her up with 93 premium. Not too bad. All right, you guys. So I just filled up, filled her up. That's about what I average per gas tank. Not that great, but the Elantra in does get pretty decent gas mileage, as you can see. But she just has a very small tank in her. 12.7 gallon tank. Depends on how much driving you do and if you do mainly highway driving or city driving. I'm at the gas station about every, on average, about every four days, you know, which is not too bad. 35 to 40 bucks per fill up, depending on gas prices, isn't bad at all. But now we are on our way up to Dun Tire. We are headed that way. My appointment, I'm about maybe 12 minutes away from the shop. It's 1.31, my appointment is at two o'clock, but I'd rather be early than late. I'm trying to figure out, since before I started this video, I've been thinking about what I'm gonna make today's thumbnail, like to make it interesting, to grab a new viewer's attention. But we'll figure something out. But like I said, the wheel is in the trunk. I'm probably gonna pull over in like Walmart parking lot and show you guys and maybe figure out a thumbnail while I'm there and look insane while doing so. People are gonna be like, why is this guy filming his car and his truck you know what's really been on my mind lately i don't know why but you guys know about this truck you've known about this truck for the longest still been on my mind i don't know why but the explorer st has really been on my mind lately man like i'm really thinking about you know possibly going to test drive one of those and i don't know why like well i do know why it's because of the space like just even though i'm single and i don't have any kids it's just me i'm 20 years old just to have like a fast seven seat truck is just pretty dope to me but it's just too expensive man like 60k and that's msrp that's not including taxes and finance fees 60k for a damn explorer is, is just a lot that's a lot of money if it was down to 50k i probably would have put the trigger right now but 60 that's iris 3 prices man brand new iris 3 or m340i prices so i don't know but you guys so we have just pulled up to an undisclosed location inside of a crunch fitness dance project dollar general ups boss nails and octopharma plasma um plaza <laughs> i'm about to open up the box and all that good stuff and um i'm definitely going to take my wheel caps off because dun tire does an immaculate job at always somehow misplacing these and then giving you some like random ones so i'm definitely going to take mine off you guys so i was trying to be intuitive and grab a thumbnail i just got a thumbnail i decided to put the box on top on the sunroof on the glass not touching the paint at all i was trying to get the box open but i don't have my pocket knife on me and unfortunately you know it was doing its job and keeping the box enclosed so now that we got a thumbnail we're going to load the box back into the trunk and head right down the road to dun tire so stay tuned all right you guys so we had just made it to dun tire um so basically i'm just gonna let him know that the brand new wheel is back here in the trunk um just open the box up for me take it out and this is the wheel that's being replaced if you guys didn't see the vlog where it actually was damaged got a little curb rash and like i said it was the same price to get fixed as to buy a new rim hence why i bought a new rim the new rim was only 209 bucks all right you guys so it is pretty early in the day they're like not busy at all they got like two cars in there they got like six garages all the rest of the garages are full so i'm pretty sure this isn't going to take any more than like 
half an hour. So he's writing everything up now. I don't know if you can tell, but it has started raining. But here she is, the new wheel is on, as you probably can tell by how shiny, how shiny that one is compared to all the other ones. Here's all my paperwork and all that good stuff. I'm gonna hop inside, I don't want all this stuff getting all wet up. But I'm really tired of this weather, man. As you guys can hear, I have like a little head cold. I actually was really sick yesterday, was in the house all day. I thought I had COVID, um, had to come home from work early, went and got tested and everything. My results came back negative. Um, I was having body aches really bad stomach ache couldn't eat anything threw up all that so i'm a little under the weather now but only thing that matters is by saturday we'll be good because definitely going to be a lot of content on saturday but like i said i got all my paperwork here the old rim is actually in the back let me hop out real quick and pop the old uh cap on it so i don't lose it and also go ahead and store my wheel lock in here where i normally store it at Let's hop out and do this before. So hopefully we don't get too wet up. Uh, why is the weather always crappy when I'm getting some like wheel work done or something, you know? All right, guys. So I'm actually going to get the interior of my car clean really quickly. My mats are really dirty. Um, she could use a wipe down. She's really dirty. Let me show you guys. She could use a good vacuum and um, go wipe down of everything. So I'm about to run to Delta Sonic real quick. Get that out of the way. Get that done. Today is just a nice, quick, and easy little vlog. You know, just quick wheel, wheel installation. Um, as you guys know, that needed to be done. So now I'm about to run to Delta Sonic. I need to grab me some food because I have to go to training in about two hours. It's 2.30. Going to the boxing gym at 4 o'clock. So I may grab me something to eat. I should have came here earlier this morning, but I don't like... Because I don't like coming when it's like crowded. It's not necessarily crowded right now, but I like pulling up and being like the first car in line. I should have came earlier because I was off from work today. Well, guys, actually change of plans. I'm just going to go over here to the free vacuums and vacuum my car out myself because I don't really feel like waiting in that line. Guys, the weather techs definitely seem to be doing their job because the carpet is pretty much spotless after going through the whole winter. Obviously just from the print, but that's going to be there. But... Just got done kind of vacuuming this. It does need to be rinsed and clean, but I can do that on a warmer day. Get this with a quick little touch up vacuum. And the spots it needs to be hit. There we go. All right, you guys. So I just got done vacuuming her out and Tara is like really dirty right now, as you can see. But as all, you can also see, rain clouds are still hovering and it's still drizzling a bit. So I'm not gonna waste my time washing her. Hold out. Thursday, the rain should be subsiding on Thursday. And then I'm gonna give her a really good um, at-home wash. First at-home wash of the year, actually, because the weather is gonna be warm enough on Thursday. Ooh, a Toyota Camry with some gold wheels. I don't know if you guys are able to see, that's pretty sharp. But with that being said, that's gonna conclude today's video. I'm about to get ready to head up to the gym in a second. You know, pretty, pretty quick, pretty chill vlog, man. This vlog is only gonna probably be about 10 minutes long. So with that being said, I hope you guys stayed to the end and enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on this vlog. Drop a comment down below, tell me what you thought. And um, yeah, stay tuned. We got some big things coming later this week. Cars and Coffee out in Rochester. It's also a meet out in Syracuse this weekend. We may be going out too, I don't know yet. I don't know if the guys are down. That would be about a three and a half hour road trip. But you know, I'm always down. So stay tuned. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. As always, it's exclusive out. I'll see y'all in the next upload, man.